Thank you so much for having me here today. I am so excited to be here to share about our experience with security operations at scale running on AWS. Did you know in the last year the number of cybersecurity breaches doubled? And it's not even the first year that that's happened. If that seems a little abstract to you, take a moment to think about what a successful attack could cost your business in terms of lost customer trust, in terms of downtime. What do we think? Maybe like a million dollars, two million dollars to recover from the breach? Think again. It would cost the average breach in the U.S. cost $9 million in the last year. And you might be wondering, how is that even possible with all the tooling, all the security people, and all the vendors that are around today? Well, that's because we really think that the cybersecurity industry has an effectiveness problem. Security isn't solely a tooling problem or a staffing problem. It's an operational problem. It matters how you put this together. At Arctic Wolf, we really believe that, well, sorry, at Arctic Wolf, our mission is to end cyber risk. To do that, we have built a for-purpose platform to do security operations at scale. We started building this back in 2012. And we looked at a couple things. Should we build this in-house? Should we put the hardware together? But we were worried about having to physically secure it. We were worried about the costs of it. And our first employee was remote. So we wanted to make sure that he could work from anywhere. So we went to the cloud in 2012 when that wasn't necessarily the most popular thing to do. By 2014, we had 1 million events running through our system a day, and by 2015, we were closing in on 1 billion, yes, I said that, billion with a B, events a day. So that's when we decided to bring in AWS and make them part of the Arctic Wolf Wolf Pack. How do you make this run at scale but keep it cost effective? you use as many Amazon services as possible. So we use over 50 different Amazon services, and every single time we look to build something, we look to see, does Amazon already have it? We know that if we leverage their services, it's gonna be more scalable, it's gonna be more cost effective, and a huge key for us is faster time to market. If we don't have to build it, then why should we? So remember I talked about the scale of 1 billion events per day in 2015. Well, we're at a whole other stratosphere now. We have over 350 billion events a day running through our system, and that yields only about five alerts with precise remediation per week for our customers. Think about the signal to noise ratio there and what that might cost in compute power and time to get there. At peak loads, we are running over 500, over 5,500 Amazon EC2 instances. Now please note, I said at peak loads, right? We're taking in traffic at all times of the day. So the amount of traffic coming through at 2 a.m. is very different from the traffic coming through at 9 a.m. and very different again from the traffic coming through at noon. So if we were to have to run at that peak load at all times, providing our service for our customers would become cost prohibitive. We also are using Amazon Simple Queuing service to uh, send the messages around between our services. And we've got 18.5 billion messages per day running through our system. The AWS monthly, monthly, remember that, free tier for SQS is one million messages a month. We burn through that every single month in 4.5 seconds. So the scale's kind of up there. 
Next, I want us to walk through a real situation. This is a real ransomware attack that happened in one of our customers' environments. I want to show you how we do security operations at scale to benefit our customers and how we're using the various AWS services to do that. So the attack begins one very auspicious day at 5.23 a.m. And we notice in the customer environment that there is Active Directory logs that are showing a user is logging in to multiple places at once. We then see on our own physical sensor, now we take in data from all over the place, from you know, endpoints to cloud to your network. And in this particular case, the signal came from our physical sensor in the customer network. We see that there was a potential command and control attack as well as a potential PowerShell attack. And we know that those two things, along with the Active Directory behavior, are very indicative of ransomware, which means we know we're going to have to act fast. This data goes up to our Arctic Wolf platform in the Amazon cloud via a secure channel. There, we're going to ingest and normalize all that data so that we can actually do something and do the analysis on that data. We use Amazon networking load balancing to manage the data coming in, and we're leveraging uh, Amazon Elastic Container Service to process that data. Then we store all of that data in S3 buckets for redundancy purposes. And again, we're using SQS for messaging. We want to now move it over into our analytics portion of the platform, where we're going to invoke over 255,000 Docker instances in ECS and EKS per day to analyze that data. After a data analysis is done, then we're going to store it in an S3 bucket again to ensure data redundancy. Now the magic starts to happen. It pops up on our investigation tri triage dashboard. This is the dashboard that our security engineers monitor 24-7 so that they can see and figure out what's happening in our client environments. I want you to note the timeline here. The attack started at 5.23 AM, and by 5.28 AM, it was on our investigation triage dashboard. That is excellent. Ransomware happens fast, and we have to remediate fast. So we use the triage dashboard uses RDS as the data store, and we use MKS to manage and categorize the data for the triage dashboard. This is where a human takes over. They are now going to look and deep dive onto these events to make sure that they're actually a real event. You know, a little bit of a, a, a preview here. It's a real event. I mean, it wouldn't be in my slides otherwise, right? <laughs> so we, our platform will invoke over 100,000 lambdas a day just to do all of those searches. We finish by ticketing this out to our customer and working with them to remediate any of the issues that they might have. Our data pipeline in the last five years has doubled every single year. There is no way we could have built this and scaled this in this way without AWS. If you want to find out more about how we use AWS and other technologies, you can stop by the Ops Guru booth after this and speak directly with some of our developers. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.